Hi, it's Sacred Jasmine. Welcome to my channel. I know it's been a really long time, but I just wanted to come in today because I wanted to give you all an update about what I've been up to, what I've been doing. And yeah, so I think my last upload was maybe 2019. And I think I was doing something with my hair. I was braiding or I was talking about vegan food or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but today in this video, we're going to talk about my uh, weight loss journey. Okay. So I was, I have been doing keto since 2000 and yeah, 2020. It's just 2021. So it's been since 2020. I started in April. Okay. And I've been on keto. I've been off of keto during this time and I've experimented with my body, what it does for me and everything, because y'all know I love to experiment with stuff like this. So, um, and if you don't know, now you know. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to talk about that and um, give you the goods on what's been happening with me. This is not going to be scripted. I'm sorry if I'm stuttering or if I'm skipping words or if I'm talking fast. I apologize. <laughs> so um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first, my name is Jasmine, okay? And um, most people know me on this channel as um, a vegan. Um, I've done some raw food videos. I've done vegan stuff. I've done recipes in the past. I've done all of these things, okay? And so um, I've been vegan and vegetarian on and off. I say on and off, maybe one year I'll be vegan, one year I'll be vegetarian, one year I will be neither, I'll be eating fish or chicken or whatever, it's just how it goes. But for the most part, since 2010, I think since 2010, at least half of that time I've been vegetarian and maybe a quarter of that time I've been vegan and a quarter of that time I've been eating meat. So 2010, we're in 2021, that is like 12 years, I think. Yeah, whatever, between 11 and 12 years, something like that. So, so um, that was great. I became a vegan because um, I watched some videos, some movies and things like Forks Over Knives. And, you know, I did all of that in 2010. I watched all these videos, you know, the McDonald's videos, all of that. And... Um, you know, it was really pulling at my heartstrings because I thought, like, who would do this to an animal? You know, I went through all of that, and I still have that same energy towards different animals. But then, um, I've done, I guess I've done more research and everything, and you know, just looking into veganism, uh, vegetarian, and raw foods, all of that stuff. Like, I've done the fast, I've done it all, like anything you can think of with vegan, vegetarian foods, <laughs> uh, whole foods, raw foods, organic foods, I, I've done it all. I've done it all, okay? So, <laughs> I'm crazy, you guys. It's, look, it's a beautiful day outside, and I'm just happy to be filming again. So, anyway, um, yeah, so let's see. Um, hmm. So, I was vegan and vegetarian, vegan and vegetarian. I, I apologize. I talk really fast, <laughs> but I've been vegan and vegetarian. I switched from pescatarian. I don't eat shellfish though, just, just fish. Um, but anyway, so I've been bouncing around whew, for the last maybe nine years doing this. So in that time, when I first began being a vegetarian or vegan, I was about, I was about 200 pounds in 2010. Okay. And um, by 2012, oh, wait, okay, so yeah, I was 200 pounds in 2010. I, I don't think I have any pictures. I apologize. Just take my word for it. <laughs> and so by 2012, I, um, well, 2011, I became pregnant with my first baby, my only baby. He's my only baby. He's nine now, but so when I was pregnant, I remember because I had a midwife and she was weighing me and everything. I remember when I first found out I was pregnant, I was like 204 pounds. And so I was like, oh, okay. And so I was expecting I'm gonna get bigger because that's what pregnant people do. I actually gained, I went from 204 right to 220 and I didn't go past that. And so as soon as I gave birth to my full-term baby at home, um, he was eight pounds, okay? He was an eight pound even 
baby. Like he was perfect. He was fat. He was just cute as a button. But um, yeah, so as soon as I gave birth to him during my pregnancy, I was vegan. I think there was one point I craved meat. It was the worst meat too. It was like well, twice I craved meat during my pregnancy, which is really weird because I hadn't eaten meat, but I went to McDonald's, which I haven't eaten from a McDonald's since this. I didn't really care for McDonald's before this, but I haven't been at McDonald's in whew, over a decade, but except for this time. So I went there and I ordered some chicken deluxe chicken sandwich and I ate it and I was like, oh, this tastes so good. Like I ate it and it tasted good at the time. I remember and then it was so disgusting afterwards. I was like, oh, I can't believe I just ate that. Then um, during my pregnancy as well, this is between 2011 and 2012. Um, I, I also ordered a pizza from Domino's. It was like some crazy, disgusting meat lovers pizza. And so at that time I had already been vegan, okay? Vegan and vegetarian, you know, trying to work things out because I was just starting um, for two years. So... I don't know where these cravings came from. I think it was just pregnancy. It was really weird. So yeah, so, and then I felt sick and my midwife, she was, <laughs> my midwife was a, a vegan as well. So she knew, she said, you, she said, you had something you weren't supposed to be eating. And I was like, yeah, I don't feel good. So anyway, long story short on this part, this is not the part I want to talk about. I want to get to the weight loss, looking good keto stuff. Okay. So <laughs> long story short, gave birth, um, went from 220 back down to 205 after birth. No, actually I went back down. I think I lost 20 pounds during birth, during just the birthing process. Because I remember my um, my midwife said that my son was eight pounds even. My placenta was 10 pounds. So it was literally all the weight that I gained was just pregnancy. It, it didn't spread all over me, which was a beautiful thing. And so then and prior to me being pregnant, I was 200 pounds, but I gained that weight so fast. I don't know where that weight came from. I know where it came from now. But before that, I was between maybe, you know, between 150, 180. Um, right now, I'm 32 years old. So I was about 18 around the time that I was uh, smaller. When I gave birth to my son, I was 22. So yeah. So anyway, so I lost all that weight. Then I apologize if this video is going to be long, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's my intro video, so y'all just have to sit here and, or maybe I'll put some timestamps in so that you can just get right to it if you want to. I understand people have a short memory span, so, or people have a short, what is it called? I, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. <laughs> people have a short space of time. You know what I'm saying? People don't, they don't pay attention. Attention span. People have short attention spans. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some time uh, stamps below. <laughs> okay, so anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, um, yes, yeah, so anyway, there will be time stamps below if you want to just skip over all my craziness and get straight to the keto good stuff and what happened. So anyway, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I remember like in 2010, I went from, well, 2009, I was about 175, 175. I'm five foot six. Okay. I'm about 167 centimeters for some people. If you need, you need those calculations and uh, translations and all that good stuff. But I was about 167 centimeters. I still am, you know, I'm still five, six and a half. And um, so I was like 175 on my body type. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not big at all. Can't really explain it. Maybe I'll find some pictures and insert them somewhere. But anyway, um, so when I became a vegan or vegetarian um, and started eating that way, I gained weight. So I was like around 200. I was 200 pounds before I had my baby. So after this, and this is all pertinent to the story. So after this, um, after I gave birth to my beautiful son, I lost, whew, I went down to maybe within those first three months, I went from being about 200 pounds after birth to about 190. So I was like, okay, getting my body back. And I don't remember what I was eating all, all the time, but I know I was doing um, 
because I had my baby, I was definitely vegan by this time. So I was breastfeeding, which helps with weight loss. And I was also doing, I was eating a lot of salads, lots of, um, you know, organic foods, things like this. And it was all vegan. So I was losing all this weight and I had discovered yoga. So I was doing yoga and uh, it was great. And I just, I slimmed down all the way to, I think about one, I got down to about 165 and my 165 looks like someone else's 130 or maybe 140. Okay. Because of the way my, I have more muscle. Okay. So anyway, so I was looking good. I was feeling good. And then I had some stresses. I couldn't find a home. It's a long story. Like there were, we were moving around. We weren't stable. And um, yeah, so during that time, I gained a lot of weight. And so then I entered school. So I'm still in school right now, but I entered undergrad because I wanted to go to school, go to college. And um, so I started college in 2016. I'm a part-time student, so I'm still in college now. But from that point, my weight just climbed, climbed, climbed. I don't remember, and there are other things that happened in between where the weight got even out of more out of control. Maybe I'll go into that in another video. But I remember my weight by 2019, I was like a solid 230 pounds and I was sitting in it. And in my mind, I never thought I looked fat, fat. I wasn't really huge. I wasn't morbidly, just I didn't have a whole lot. And so because my body was still very solid and, you know, put together, I was just like, meh, whatever. But I did notice that I remember going from a size 12 and I was like, oh, these don't fit. <laughs> to me just saying, oh, I'll just get a bigger size. I want it to be loose. I'm... um. I have more of a boho fashion. No, no, girl, I, I was just fat, okay? So <laughs> I'm wearing all these loose clothes. So I think the uh, the turning point for me was when I was ordering and buying two X's. I think I went to Rue 21, if you're all familiar with that story, that store. I went to Rue 21 and I could not fit anything but a size 18. at like 230 something pounds. And I think even at that point, maybe I was in the 240s. I don't know because I wasn't using the scale. So, oh, it's tragic. So anyway, um, during this whole time, like I said, I'm vegan, I'm vegetarian. Even when I wasn't eating vegan, vegetarian, my meat, my my, my fish, everything, it was mostly organic. Like my, my family will tell you, I will not buy eggs if they are not um, certain from a certain place. Like they have to be, I'm extra in that way. And I try not to be, but I, I've i studied food. Like I'm a holistic life coach. This is what I do. I, you know, I study food and everything, but for some reason in my body, I even eating all of this healthy food, I was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, um, and no amount of yoga, <laughs> okay? No amount of cardio. I was biking. I did all kinds of stuff during this time. My body was just like, yeah, that's nice, but I'm still gaining weight. So, um, and it was disheartening for me because I'm sitting here telling people as a holistic life coach, here's what you should eat. Here's what you should avoid, blah, blah, blah. And in the meantime, you know, not really thinking about it, but I remember right at the beginning of the pandemic, I, I remember just thinking to myself, you know, people are going to be in the in their houses for X amount of weeks, months, where we don't know, everything's shutting down. And they were talking about COVID-19 this, COVID-19 that. And I said, I, people are already starting to gain weight. So this is like, I think we shut down in April, March or April of 20, 2020. And um, people were already gaining weight by April. And I remember in my head, I was like, oh, hell no, no. I will not be gaining the COVID-20, the COVID-30, the COVID-50 pounds. I cannot be that girl. I want to lose weight. And I said, you know what? Let me start researching because things that I used to do in the past, like I did calorie restrictions. I've done all of that stuff. And that never really worked for me. I think the calorie restrictions, it does work, but I'm always hungry. So 
I started doing calorie restriction again because it was just, you know, I started Googling. And of course, they say, if you want to lose weight, control your calorie intake. No problem. So I was like, okay, I can do about 1,500 calories, maybe 1,200 calories a day. So I remember me just looking at um, low calorie and I'm a researcher. I love to research. I will research a topic for years just because it's fun for me. So I really delved deep into low calorie like I've never delved deep before. So I'm looking at all this low calorie stuff and following people's diets on YouTube. And um, um, so I remember the first, the first couple of days. No, the first day I did low calorie. I remember I had, I think, I, I don't even know if I still have my food diary. I have no idea where that book is. But I was tracking all of my food. I was writing it down. I think I had like a salmon and um, a salad or something. And I was buying this low calorie, low carb, or it was low calorie, um, 100 calorie snack things. And I was hungry, but I got on the scale. And that first day I was like, ooh, I lost a pound. Okay. So in my mind, I'm thinking if I can lose a pound, a week because what they say is healthy, right? One pound a week is healthy. I'm good. I mean, I can just lose a pound a week. Uh, sometime this year, I'll be at 200 pounds. <laughs> I don't know, but whatever. But I remember being so hungry and I was like, I cannot, I mean, I'm hungry. And I think those first couple of days I went over, like I know I went over 1200 calories. I know I did. So in my research, I finally discovered keto and because it wasn't keto, I think I went from low calorie to, you know, YouTube and Google take you on these big circles. So low calorie led me to low carb. And I said, let me take a look at low carb. I've never really delved into low carb. So I started looking at it and I was like, oh yeah, Oprah used to do this. You know, she ate, she didn't eat um, rice or bread, all this other stuff. And she lost weight, but I heard that it's really difficult. And, um, so I never really, I never really, um, I never really, you know, went straight in for that. So that was my first time that I really just dived deep into low carb eating and low carb research, research first. Okay. So I started Googling people, you know, cause I, I love a good before and after video. So I was Googling and searching low carb before and after, you know, three months, like that's, that's my typical, you know, low calorie three months. Like, I don't know why three months, but Sometimes I do six months or one year, but you know, three months, let's see what I can get in three months. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I am Googling and I'm seeing all these people. And of course, when I started putting in low carb three months, keto popped up and I said, what the heck is that? And um, never really, I think I've heard of it in passing a few times. Like I never really just dived into keto for some reason. So this is my first time really looking at it. And when I saw that people were losing like a hundred pounds in four months and, you know, um, 120 pounds in one year and 50 pounds in four months and all that, I was like, wait a minute with pictures and video. Okay. I was blown away. I said, now I need some of that. So let me start looking up keto. And that's where it started for me. Okay. So I started Googling keto. I was I was learning. So I remember losing that one pound that first day. And of course, like I said, we were in a quarantine and everything. So I did all this in one day. <laughs> I did all this in one day. So the first day I did my calorie, my low calorie, um, calorie deficit, the day I was doing calorie deficit is when I discovered the low carb and the keto on the same day. So that first day I did the low, the low calorie, it was... Yeah, I lost one pound. And so the next day I was started low calorie. Um, so day two, I was low calorie, but I was still researching keto. And I don't know, like I'm not one of those people where it's like, okay, I'm going to start this tomorrow or I'm going to start this on Monday. I don't do that. So once I learn something and I know I want to implement it, I implement it right then, right then. What's the point of starting the next day, right? So I started I had a low calorie breakfast and a low calorie lunch. I had like a bunch of low calorie snacks. I was snacking. I was hungry. Okay. That evening I said, you know what? I am going to make my first keto meal. I'm going to try it. What's the worst that can happen? So I went to 
Publix or Kroger's or something. I don't know. I think it was Publix. And I got some salmon and I was like, okay, let me try a salad. So I ended up getting watercress, which is something I've never really eaten before. It was so good. Anyway, so I got watercress and salmon. And I remember um, I, instead of me baking my salmon, I cooked it on the stove. I think I put a pound of butter. It, it wasn't a pound, but it was a lot of butter. It was more fat than I would normally use because, you know, we've been trained. Fat is bad. It's the enemy. So I was like, let me just, instead of putting this one, you know, this quarter tablespoon of butter on here, let me put like, I think I put like three tablespoons of butter in there. Like It was a lot. It was a lot of butter. And with the salad, I think I made my own dressing. I was like, okay, I can do that. So I mixed up some, I think some mustard and a little bit of, uh, you know, I don't know what I put in there, but it had a bunch of oil in that too. And some vinegar, you know. And I put some seasonings and everything, put a bunch of oil in it, made my salad, tossed it all up and all of this like oil mixture. The next day, instantly I dropped three pounds. Three pound weight loss overnight. Overnight. And I know it wasn't, I'm pretty sure the low calorie part played a little role in it, but I know that meal itself, by itself, that keto meal was probably like 800 calories. I was not counting calories when I started keto. I didn't count calories for keto. I still don't count calories for keto. <laughs> so it wasn't even a calorie thing, but I know it had to have been at least 800 calories for that. That was, a, it was a lot of fat. But I lost three pounds. <laughs> so I was like, now, wait a minute. Okay, so I called all my sisters. I have four sisters. Called my sister, called my mom. I was like, oh, my God. I made this meal with all this fat on it. I just lost three pounds. And I know it's probably water weight. But look, when you first start, and that's what you want to see. You want to see those numbers drop. So I lost three pounds a day. And I was like, okay, you know, I, I can deal with this. <laughs> it's a lot more fat than I'm used to eating. But whatever. So, um, yeah, so that kind of started me in keto. So at the, the, the day that I started my low calorie, I was 233 or 32 pounds, 200 and no, it was 231 pounds plus maybe point something. I don't know. So I was like 231. So day two, I was like 228. Yeah, so I was I was I was psyched because I haven't seen my two twenties in I don't know how long, and it was crazy for me. So I got down to like two hundred and twenty pounds, no, two hundred and twenty eight pounds that first month because I was eating so many calories I wasn't really counting or paying attention. That first month, I lost I went from two twenty one down to two hundred and eighteen pounds. And then I started like cheating. I started, you know, just playing around and, you know, not being serious. And I noticed that my weight went from 218 to 222. Okay. And I was like, okay, wait a minute. This is not going where I wanted to go. So I went back, it went back down. <laughs> my weight went back down after I started eating uh, more fat. And that's a problem that I had in the beginning. <sighs> One problem I had in the beginning was I wasn't eating enough fat because it was just, I'm, not, I'm still not used to eating a lot of fat, but I'm getting there. So um, I, was, I wasn't putting enough fat on my food. So therefore, I wasn't getting full enough, which caused me to be more hungry because I was slowly slipping back into those ways subconsciously or unconsciously, you know, um, when I wasn't paying attention. So anyway, um, by my birthday, my birthday is in August, I got down to 200 and I was like at 215. 210 or, two, 210 or 215. So started in April. By August, I'm like 215, which is not a lot, a huge drop for some people. But hey, the scale is moving, okay? And uh, actually, I was like 205 in August. I was 215 in June. And by August, I was 205 pounds. So It's still not a lot of weight for some people, but whatever. The scale is going where it needs to go. It's going down. So then I had my birthday in August, and I said, you know what? I'm going to have a birthday caramel apple with Snickers on top. And it's just a small cheat. So when I had that, it wasn't that I gained a lot of weight immediately, 
but there was a difference in the way that I felt. So right now, I don't know if you can tell, I have a ton of energy. It's because I've been doing keto for three. I've been back on keto for maybe three or four days now. So yes, I'm like, huh? got a lot of energy. <laughs> so anyway, um, but yeah, I'll get into the, you know, the ups and downs maybe on another video because this is already 25 minutes long. So basically, um, started playing with keto up and down, up and down and, you know, doing it right, doing it wrong. I've done dirty keto. I've done, um, dirty keto is where you're really just kind of not paying it. Well, not, it's not that you're not paying attention. You're not eating the organic, the best foods maybe, but Hey, fits in the macros. You just kind of make it work. Um, so I've been doing a dirty, um, lazy keto, just whipping stuff together. You know, I've been doing a clean keto. And so um, I think because of my background with me trying to do everything clean and me having to, you know, do homeschool with my son and me being in school as well, it was just, I, I lost my mind in the fall of 2019. No, the fall of 2020, I lost my mind. I was all over the place. Okay. And so I, one thing that I did from the fall of 2020 to maybe just like this summer of 2021, I was fluctuating and fluctuating and fluctuating and fluctuating and fluctuating, doing keto, kind of doing keto, doing low carb, doing semi low carb. So I think when I would do low carb, I would do 50 carbs a day or less. Okay. And I discovered that um, while I'm doing all this experimenting with my body so that you don't have to, I discovered that something in my body does not like sugar. So it comes out in my skin. I gain weight all over when I consume sugar or carbs or any of that matter. So that is my realization now. It took me over a year to get to it. And so at this point, I do not want to go back to sugar or carbs. I'll go into that in another video because I'm still talking and I really want to end this one and wrap it up. But basically, I don't know how much I weigh now. I had to get rid of my scale because of the fluctuations. Like I really discouraged and I was making myself go crazy. I got rid of my scale, but I'm using my clothes and maybe some tape measure as a guide from now on. And um, yeah, so I've been doing keto for maybe like just strict keto, like not going off of it, um, whether it's dirty, lazy, look clean, whatever. As long as it fits in my macros, some days it's better, some days it's not. I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. I am in, I'm, I'm doing keto. So I'm fully committed and um, I know now what's wrong with my body, what's happening. I actually had a doctor's appointment and my doctor was like, oh my God, don't do keto. You, everybody needs carbs. And it's like, yeah, but that doesn't work for me, which I do want to say in this video before I, before I end it. Um, so when I was vegan and vegetarian, I was fat. I was a fat vegan. You know, we hear about fat vegans all the time. Like just because you're vegan doesn't mean you're stick thin or skinny and all of that. I was a fat vegan because my body does not like carbs. It hates them. <laughs> my body, my body hates carbs. It just can't tolerate them like that. And uh, so I was a fat vegan <laughs> because most of my meals would be extremely calorie dense, very calorie dense. So I mean, I might have rice with beans, and you know, throw in some um, uh, quinoa. I mean, I was mixing it up. Okay, there were so many carbs. Not to mention a. Few of my friends, my homegirls, they were making all these flavored vegan cornbreads because <laughs> I'm from the South. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm from the South. So um, they were making all these flavored cornbreads with these flavored butters, um, you know, these vegan, vegan soul food, vegan fried this, vegan baked that, vegan. I got spoiled on the vegan train, but I also got fat. <laughs> so... The problem with me was that I was eating way too many calories for me and for my body. And even just going strictly back to keto, whether it's dirty, lazy, clean, for these last three days, my energy levels, like right now, I don't know how much I weigh. I think I'm maybe like 215. I don't know because I refuse to get on the scale again. Um, I think right now, 
I just have so much energy. And I haven't had this much energy, I'm going to tell you, all year since I started. I haven't had this much energy since I started keto. And that's how I know that this is for me. Don't listen. Okay, listen to me well. If you're trying to start keto, do not, don't do what I did. <laughs> okay, don't sit here and play around for a year and a half, two years. Okay, like just do it. And you, the rewards are so great. You will have the energy that you think you used to have in your teens. Like it's here. Like I said, I'm 32. You'll get your energy back. Your body's going to be snatched. You're going to look good. You're not going to be eating a ton of food, wasting a lot of money, which a lot of people don't have money like that right now. You know, we're still in the pandemic. So you'll be able to save some money, hopefully, and um, look good, feel great. You'll have the energy that you need to really get through your day. So I will try and insert some pictures here of when I started keto and oh, they're so embarrassing. <laughs> My pictures are so embarrassing from when I first started keto back in April. This was right before I started keto. So, oh my goodness, I'm going to insert that picture if I can find it. And then I'm going to insert a picture of me when I had dropped all my weight. So, um, so yeah, so right now I think I'm about 215, not really sure, but, um, yeah, hopefully y'all will be able to see me drop some weight. And just so that we can keep this thing going for motivation purposes for other people, if other people want to, you know, join in the keto train, I'm going to weigh myself. And when I weigh myself, I'll put my weight today as of September 14th, 2021, <laughs> September 14th, 2021, it's Tuesday. I'll put my current weight just for y'all because I hate the scale and I may go back in, I don't know, three months and do it again. I really don't want to be that girl that stuck to the scale again. It was just not good for my mental health. Okay. So, um, I will come back in maybe 60, 90 days. I don't know. We'll see. And I will, um, tell you all like how it's been going but um in the meantime i'm going to be posting videos and all of that because a lot of the, the the people that i follow on here like low carb love she's absolutely my favorite um they have really 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 helped me to kind of develop a palette of my own so that i can eat foods that i love and you know still you know feel good so anyway i hope y'all all enjoyed this video we're at 32 minutes but um if you found it helpful, please like, comment, subscribe. Make sure that you uh, share this video with people who you think might need just another voice. I mean, some people, look, there's someone for everyone in this keto thing. Some people get motivation from people like me. Some people get motivation from other people. But if you think somebody would like this video and if they think that I'm not too crazy, <laughs> if they don't think I'm too crazy, just go ahead and send it to them. Okay. And, um, but yeah, so... I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm going to try and upload more videos, maybe some recipes that I really fell in love with and that have helped me lose more weight and feel good, look great, all of that good stuff. And yeah, so let's do this thing, y'all. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm going to come back with more story times and all of this stuff because I talk a lot <laughs> and I just can't fit it all in this video. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I will see you all later. Bye.